motion detection on your cameras is a very, very clever way to limit the amount of clips that you're getting. It also saves you having to uh, look in all the time at your cameras to see what is happening. It does it for you. So if you want to set your motion detection on your cameras, you need to go into the desktop and you need to go to settings on your video tab. Here you'll see a list of options. I'm going to go down to video motion detection. When you open up this window, you'll notice that it's loading a camera. You'll see in the top uh, tab, you'll notice that it's on driveway camera. Depending on which camera you want to change, you're going to need to change that video device so that you're changing motion detection on each one. You'll notice you have a choose VMD window. You have three options here. Uh, each box, you draw a little motion detection box. That is basically the area in which you want motion to be detected. Uh, usually, we we uh, set the sensitivity to maybe five or four, um, so that it's not going off too frequently, depending on how big the box is. Uh, the target size as well is usually around about fifteen percent. Here, it's the default is is ten percent, and here I've set it to two because it's quite a big box. Um, the target size works. Um, in conjunction with the box size. So each box is 100%. And what we want is we want a target size of 15% of that box to be detected. And then once you're done, you just click save. Here now we're going to the garden area as another example. So for the first box, I'm going to make a relatively small box on a bit of concrete here. Uh, the sensitivity is five, so maybe Maybe, maybe drop it down to, to a little bit smaller and then the target size I'm going to set to 20%. Um, so you can have up to three boxes on each camera um, and it may take a bit of time and a bit of tweaking to figure out the best suited um, motion detection settings for each one. And that's basically how you set motion detection on uh, each of your smart home security system cameras.